Hello my friends, and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator, where today we're going to be cleaning the private jet. I have no idea if anybody's even watching these at this point. I don't know how many of these I've recorded. None of them are actually out on the channel yet. I've just been playing it because I want to. Uh, and, and hopefully you're joining me for the ride, and if not, that's fine too. If you're just turning this on, falling asleep, and letting a playlist go, that's fine. You do you. You do whatever you want. But hopefully this content is... Something that somebody out there likes and is enjoying. And if not, at least I had a good time playing this game again. It's been a while. Yeah, we're doing the private jet, and this one looks like a big level. It's got a big price tag on it. We'll see if this takes as long as the last one that we did. What is the last one that we did? Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what I did. It was not the bathrooms, it was, oh, the Helter Skelter. But with the Helter Skelter, we switched to the high-powered power washer halfway through as well. I don't even remember whose jet this is. Is this the mayor's jet? No, it can't be, this must just be. Maybe it's the mayor's jet, it's a private jet, right? We're gonna have to get up there eventually. Oh, I don't have the ups to do that of my own strength. My legs are not capable of these ups. Let's see how long we can go without a GPU crash, a GPU driver crash. Because I think that's happened in at least two videos now. All those windows are nice and easy to clean. Oh, what is this? Why does this private jet have any laser? Oh, this is... Suspicious. None of my business, though. I'm just here to clean. I ain't talking to nobody. About this giant laser that you've got mounted to the front of your private jet. You want to put a laser on your private jet? I think that's your business. That's not my business. You do whatever you want. Is it going to have... Massive glowing purple rings? That's fine. You do whatever you want. You can be green if you want. Oh yes, I remember this now. I remember these little things, these doodads on the wings. I don't even know what these are. Anti-gravity boosters. This ain't no normal private jet. This is some men in black nonsense. None of my business. I was paid to clean. Oh. I was gonna say, I don't know where else this anti-gravity booster's still dirty. Oh, there it is. There's some of it, at least. There's some in there and up there. Okay. I actually have done a terrible job. There we go. Thrust is going to tell me some of the specifications of his jet. Maybe he'll tell me why there's a laser and some anti-gravity generators. Why is he so forthcoming with the specifications of his jet just because I'm his pressure wash guy? Oh, he said he was going to divulge and then he left. I guess he's... He'll get back to me later. That's fine. We'll just... we'll clean. Fuel tank mount cleaned. Again, I know I've said this probably about a thousand times. I still haven't watched any speedruns of this game, even though I wanted to. I don't know if it's that I wanted to, even though I said I would, or I thought about doing it. Thought about looking into it. Maybe we'll finish it first. Finish off all the levels, and then we'll look into... Individual level speedruns? Maybe? I don't know. We shall see. This is one of those games where... I don't know, would it ruin it? Would it ruin it to learn the secrets of speedrunning in this game and to not just have it be a chill game where you're just erasing dirt? Or would it enhance it? 
and turn it into something new. My concern would be that if I learned some crazy speedrun strat that's exploiting some game mechanic that I won't get to enjoy casually anytime new DLC comes out because I'll immediately be employing these cheese strats. Because it'd be hard not to, I feel like. I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself here and even anticipating that I would be any good at doing any of it. So <laughs> probably wouldn't actually be that much of a concern if I'm being completely honest with myself. Vertical stabilizer cleaned. Yeah, that's a pretty futuristic looking jet. It's got a laser on it. That part's pretty futuristic. Probably need some scaffolding to get up there and really clean this thing. Or just jump on top. Probably just jump on top, honestly. It would, would be the best way to get most of this cleaned. Some of this here, we just need to switch to the long extension. We can't afford the extra long yet, but I think it's 1200. No, no, your jet's different than most jets. Wow. wow. What a shock. I did not anticipate that. The fuselage is made from a graphene, graphene matrix. Lighter than air, stronger than steel. Why isn't this thing floating away? Technically the world's largest pencil. I guess so. Oops. two things called static wick that I can't oh is it that those things oh, okay it's those little antenna up there never mind I was gonna say I don't know what they are I didn't actually see them flash text generators these don't sound real this plane's not real Jump up here? This seems... Nope. Never mind. I was going to say this seems achievable. Oh, wait. I'm vibrating. No, no not a chance. I'm going to need a... Stool will probably do it. Where'd it go? I missed. There we go. I need to make this shorter now because I can't seem to get it in there. There we go. Beautiful. Make sure this anti-gravity panel is clean so it can defy gravity or whatever it is that it does. Oh, the mayor needs me back at the mansion. Discreetly. That's gonna cost extra. Oh, this guy's telling me about his laser gun. So it is a gun. That's... I don't know, is that... <laughs> is he allowed to have one of those? Reaches upwards of 3 million degrees Fahrenheit. That is significantly hotter than the sun. <laughs> Clean up these ailerons. the wing done. I don't think I did the windows on the other side. I think I just cleaned these ones. Yeah, look, we haven't even touched this side. These tasks are getting more complex. Jet blast. Make sure the inside of that jet's clean too. 
There we go. Nice, clean turbojet engine. Now oh, we're going to have to get up there on the tail to clean that. On these horizontal stabilizers. There we go. Up we go. I think the underside might still need a little bit of a rinse, too. Maybe not. Nope, maybe not. That might be fine. I think it's all clean down there. The rust just comes right off. We don't even have to think about it. Hey, there's my van. It's still looking clean. I must be power washing it on the regular. What's wrong with this vertical stabilizer? Where is it still dirty? Oh, maybe on the... It's going to be awkward, but let's get down here. There's a little bit there. That's going to be tough to get. There we go. There we go. This guy loves talking about his jet. Just unsolicited texts about his jet. <laughs> I'm just the power wash guy. I'm just cleaning this thing. We're not... I don't think we're friends. are making good time here. Depending on what the next level is, we'll determine if we continue here or not. Yep, we almost got the fuselage cleaned up now. This thing looks like it was in a space battle. Against aliens or something. I don't know what has happened to this thing. It's got scorch marks on it. It's not just dirt. So I don't think I've done the underside of this side of the plane, so we'll have to get down there and do that after. Just gonna try and get as much of this clean as we can first. Alright, this might be a short episode. I don't think I've been talking too much. I've just been in the zone. Which is hopefully okay. Sometimes you just be in the zone. Get as much done from this angle as possible, just so that if I jump down and start cleaning underneath, we don't end up with a tiny little bit that still needs to be cleaned on top, and then I have to find a way to hop back up here using that stool again. I think we'll be fine. Maybe. There might be some little things up here that we gotta come back up and get again. Alright, let's go down. Warning laser. Oop, some incidental cleaning over there. Didn't mean to get that one to ding, but I'll take it. Made that one ding. I wanted that. Yeah, some of these wires looking pretty dirty. Oh, the whole front of the laser rig mount. Laser mount. I'm getting pretty close here. Obviously we are. It says, it says we're 95% of the way done. But what I mean is I don't feel like I've forgotten anything major or missed anything major. You might even get the list of remaining parts soon. Remaining 
items that need to be cleaned. Guess we'll see. Is gonna get up and clean that wing and then it finished itself. Good. Mission accidentally accomplished. Alright, starting to get concerned that we're not getting a part list here. So there's not a lot standing out as dirty. Oh, I saw something. We're gonna have to go to the tablet. I don't see anything. Elevators. Oh, which one's this one? Maybe on the other wing. No? Oh, this one. Uh-oh. Good, we don't have to go up there. Fuselage sensors. It's a cockpit sensor at the front. What is a fusel fuselage sensor? I'm gonna need it to flash for me. Maybe it's on top? Now oh, it's this thing. And then one of the wheels. Oh, there it is. Job complete. Let's go to the time lapse here. All done. Bam. Clean the frolic boat. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit of a longer one, so today's going to be a shorter video. And then next time we'll clean the frolic boat and possibly whatever comes after that, because I don't think that boat takes too long. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave a like on it. It helps out a lot. I really do appreciate it. Leave a comment. Even if you just want to say hello. And then, of course, if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications. You know what? Before we go... Let's buy this last extension. Bam. Good stuff. Alright, thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.